We're gonna move on to the next step, and that's audio. So we're not gonna be doing a great deal with audio, except applying it to certain elements in the game, because currently our game is silent. And we wanna add um, two audio um, elements for the time being. One is the background music of the uh, game, and the other one is the engine hum that Mike spoke briefly about with the vehicle AVFX. So, for example, when the ship is not moving, the engine hum is very low, but when you move, the priority, no, the, the pitch and the volume is increased. So we're gonna add both of those. Um, just to show you the audio that we have, um, in the audio folder, uh, we have uh, four different audio clips. Um, two we'll be using in timeline later on, so we're not gonna worry about those for the time being. That's beep high and beep low. Um, so we have engine hum and street loop full, which is the name of the song. And we also have a mix group. So we're gonna route the um, audio, output it into the audio mixer. And we're not gonna take, make, make any changes or make any effects to the audio, but we're gonna show you how you can use the audio mixer to see and preview and understand what audio is currently playing in different groups. So we have the street loop full, which sounds like this. Yeah, okay, I had an engine hum. This is the beginning. And also an engine hum, which is. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna apply both of those. So, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this background music. So I'm gonna right click inside the hierarchy, and we have this window that opens up that has all the different objects we can add into our scene. And I'm gonna go down to audio and audio source. So audio source is basically a component that takes an audio clip or takes some audio data and plays it within your scene. So you can play 3D audio, 2D audio, uh, you can attach audio to objects, you can basically place audio sort of wherever you want in a game. So in this case, we're gonna have audio that's 2D, which is the background music, and audio that's uh, also 2D, but it's attached to the ship. It's also worth mentioning that in order to get audio to work in Unity, you really only just need three things. So you need the audio source, which Andy just created here. You need an audio clip, so that's what sound is it playing. You need an audio listener. Now every scene automatically has an audio listener on the camera. The main camera just automatically has an audio listener. There's nothing you need to do with it. It just represents the ears of the player that's hearing the sound. So we already have a listener, Andy just added a source. We're gonna add a clip and we'll have sound. And if you're using 3D audio, um, the position where the audio listener is and where the 3D audio source is, um, determines on how loud it is and stuff like that. So if you throw a rock down a corridor, as it bounces, it's gonna get quieter and quieter because the 3D audio source is traveling away from the listener or the ears, as I, the scene ears, as I like to call it sometimes. <laughs> so now that we have this audio source, we wanna neaten things up. So I'm gonna rename that to background music. We don't want anything cryptic. Um, and then in the audio source, we have a couple of settings we wanna change. So the first one is the actual audio clip that we're using, which is street loop full. The next one is the audio mixer that we want to output this street loop full to. We can click that and notice that we already created a mixing group and here we have a group called background music. So the background music is playing through the background music. Pretty simple. We want it to play on awake because it's audio. We want to play from the very beginning of the game and we want to loop. We don't want our two minute or one minute, I can't remember how long it is, uh, clip to finish playing and then the rest of the game is completely silent. We want it to loop so it will carry on playing all over again. So we have that music there. Next thing we wanna do is add the engine hum. Now because our ship has this AVFX script on it, which is handling the audio, we need to put this audio source on the ship. So with the ship selected, you can go to add components. You'll notice you'll have a little audio drop down which has different effects and different things. Also you can tell different things to be, have, be the audio listener. So you can create another audio source here and Basically, almost the same as the street loop full, we can click here and say, we wanna use the engine hum on the ship. We want it to go out to the engine. It's kind of self-explanatory. We want it to loop, because this is actually quite a short clip, and again, we don't want it to play and then just stop and then not play again, and click that. Now, what I'm gonna do is, when I go into play mode, I'll show you the audio mixer. We're not gonna to do too much with it, but show you how, how useful it can be. And because each audio source has an output to a group or a mixer in the audio mixer, we can then visualize how this audio is playing. Because if you were making a much more complex game, you'd have lots of different audio playing and you wanna know when certain audio is playing at certain points or how, how intense it is or be able to apply effects to different audio groups or mixes. So underneath window. I'll show it to them real quick before the audio mixer just so they can see how it is now. Yes, sir. <laughs> so when we click play. 
We have the music and the engine hum is very low. And as we build up the uh, our, uh, speed, you notice that the engine hum is actually increasing in volume and pitch. And when I crashed into the wall, that was definitely intentional. Um, you notice it stops very, very suddenly as well. Now normally you wouldn't necessarily need an audio mixer. I mean, you could get by with this one without an audio mixer for sure. Just uh, without an audio mixer, it'll just play. That's a completely optional thing. However, you might notice that, oh, the background music is too loud or the engine hum is too loud or too low or, or just, it's just not quite right. And so you would have to go to the audio source of the background music and turn it down. You'd have to go to the audio source of the engine. You would turn it up and then realize that it didn't have any effect and wonder why it didn't have any effect. And then you realize later that, oh, a script is controlling that. So all the things you did to it didn't matter. And, and it's just really, really frustrating to kind of remember every little place you need to change volume and add effects and change things. So by routing everything into an audio mixer, you get one place where you can just t dial up, dial down, add effects. You can see the outputs of all of your different audio sources in one spot. So you can turn something up or down relative to other things and just basically mix the audio exactly how you want it. That's why it's called the audio mixer. Exactly. It's not a, just a clever name. So you can uh, open up the audio mixer by going window and audio mixer. And we have here our different groups. And then when we go, when, when I click play, you notice that we have the background music that fits across a little bit. We have the background music, and as I increase, you notice that the engine will tone up and down very slowly. You notice that it shoots right up as uh, the ship builds up speed. And of course, we went against typical Unity design uh, or typical Unity workflow. You can actually edit these values in play mode as well. So if we want the background music to be lower, we could tone it down. play mode, because edit and play mode was enabled, it will then retain those settings uh, after you leave play mode. Now we're not going to do that in the workshop. Um, we're just going to set up the two audio sources and the outputs and their values that are changed, but it's worth showing this system because it's quite a unsung feature that is very, very powerful. So just to go over what it did, um, went to the hierarchy, went right click to open up this window of all the different um, game objects that we can create or pre-made uh, built-in game objects. And here we have audio and then audio source. So we created a brand new audio source, renamed the game objects to background music, and then on that background music audio source, we set the audio clip to street loop full. Yeah, there's only four sound effects, so I mean, if you get it wrong, just keep going until you find the right one. Output it through the background music group that's in the mixer, and enable loop. And then on the ship, also added an audio, uh, also add an audio source. Um, select the engine hum. Again, it's one of four, so it should, should be easy to find. And then output that through the engine group, and then also loop, and then go into play mode. Two very simple things. We create two audio sources and apply them to different places.